welcome to Connections Resource Center. Sorry about that. I am Nat, and I am Communications and Outreach uh, Coordinator for Connections. <laughs> Hello, and I'm Rebecca, the Community Outreach Coordinator for Connections. Um, and we have with us today the MP for Hull Elmer. He's been working very diligently with the Parliamentary Black Caucus to help reduce systemic racism in Canada. Not to mention that he's a father and a loving grandfather. <laughs> and we're super lucky that he's taking this time with us. And so welcome, Greg. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you, Nat. Happy to join you on the Friday Wind Down. Yeah, this is awesome. We've had Greg before, and this is just uh, for one of our chats, actually. And this is just really nice to have you join us for our wind down. So oh, thank you. Especially thank this you. week being Quebec Fatherhood Week, which was quite a lovely week. We had quite a number of guests. So having you join Greg as our last guest is just really amazing. I, I, I will go to bed less uh, silly tonight uh, by knowing uh, <laughs> by knowing that. I'm going to interrupt for two seconds because I can't see Greg. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, have technical you had this problem too last time. It seems to be like my issue. I'll be right back to join you for a chat. Right Perfect. on. Right okay. On. <laughs> we will see Rebecca very soon, I'm sure. I'm, I'm certain. Or it was a rough week, you know, Friday. <laughs> she has to take it, you know, take it yeah. easy. Well, that's why we include wine. <laughs> I like, I, I like the, uh, I like the invitation. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll wait for Rebecca to, uh, to, yeah. to raise a glass. Oh, I so, think she can get back on. <laughs> I'm certain she will. So, how's your week been? It's been a good week. It's been a busy week. You know, it's been a hot week. It just keeps yes. getting hotter and hotter. And right now I'm actually in a room upstairs and I don't have air, any air conditioning. I can't have my fan on, but that's okay. Yeah. That's I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in a similar situation. I'm in my, my home office, which is the one place where it really doesn't have a cross uh, a breeze. And uh, yep, I'm sweating it out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's going to be really hot till Monday and we'll have uh, some nice thunderstorms. Are oh, you planning okay. anything special on Sunday for, I guess your family would be planning it for you. Do you know well, what's happening? Well, well yes. Uh, my Actually, it's a funny thing. Uh, we should be <laughs> camping. Uh, oh. um, but uh, we're a one car family and they, so they've gone off uh, to start the camping already with my grandson and I will be joining them tomorrow evening after I finish some, uh, some obligations here in the riding. Awesome. That'll be fun. Yeah. Sorry. Be I'm just checking to make sure Rebecca's a hard time connecting. Oh, <laughs> I think she's coming in now. That's great. Oh, one sec, everyone. Sorry about that. No problem. I might have to go find. There she is. She's coming in. Here okay, we are. I'm just going to close the other one, Rebecca, and then we are on. Here we go. <laughs> Can you see us all? Phew! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we have wine during these. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's really funny, though, Rebecca, because I can see me double. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> well, let's see on our live. Oh, my gosh. I see, I see all three. Do you? Okay, okay so nice. and, so do I. and that's fine because I can see you on the bottom. So all good. All good. <laughs> Although it, it does say in the top left-hand corner, live, and then host is not joined yet. Oops. Oh. Well, I'm looking at it now live, and everything's good. We're all good. Oh. Sweet. This this is the magic of live uh, broad, web broadcasting, everybody. <laughs> I feel like everybody is kind of catching up slowly with the joys of this. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> My word. Luckily, people are getting used to it. So. <laughs> yeah, it's not the first time it's happened. So. Exactly. So, cheers to uh, to you all. To Fridays. <laughs> to Fridays. Uh -huh. mm. This week has been quite um, 
amazing week of dads coming on. We've been so lucky. Yeah. Who did you have? A bunch of dads who are just super happy to be dads. <laughs> Right. It's, 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 you know, it's, with the phrase uh, fier d'être père was talked about quite Fier d'être père. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We, had, uh, we had Mardaché come on, and he's actually the one of the um, people who works for the Regroupement, who actually put mm -hmm. on this celebration, this week long celebration for Quebec Fatherhood Week. Um, and yeah, we talked about proud to be a dad, right? And uh, he talked about. Um, any, any advice? <laughs> As women, we're not allowed to give advice on that. No, <laughs> we're not. No, men never hesitate but to give advice. <laughs> Sorry, that was my mansplaining joke. I didn't catch it. I, I said men never hesitate to give advice. <laughs> Oh, the mansplain. Yeah, we the love the mansplain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was really nice to see Mal Deshaun. And we also had on uh, Sachin, who yeah. talked about he hosts a um, a dad's pub night at oh. the local Notre. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're just there today. And for him, it was all about just the idea of getting dads together to talk about everything from being a dad to also just you know hanging out with the dads because what he discovered is a lot of the wives have strong community connections or support but, group. Mm -hmm. yeah just plate safe spaces to be heard and um and there seems to be a bit of a stigma sometimes of loneliness for some for some dads you know so yeah. he was really uh he took it on as sort of a community initiative which i thought was amazing it reminds me of when uh when that, you know years ago when i was a dad um i was my wife and i uh, we did something novel at the time it's become very popular since but i mean we had our kids in the early 90s uh, so we um when julie was going on uh, parental leave i was working on the hill and uh, I looked at the CVs that were coming in to replace her. And uh, I said, well, just offhandedly, oh, I have more qualifications than the people who are applying. And then the light bulb went off. And I, rep I ended up putting my application in and uh, replaced, Julie and I worked out a deal with this, uh, with this place. And we said, look, we'll both end up job sharing. And, but for the beginning, it's gonna be me coming in I'll come in, uh, but as you know, we felt the need. Whoever w whoever woke up uh, more tired uh, would go to work, and uh, the one with more energy would stay home with our baby. Uh, and we did that for four years. It was wow. a great job sharing experience. That's amazing. Yeah. It's that true amazing. though. Whoever is most tired should be the one who goes to work and nurses a coffee for the first couple of hours. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. When you don't have to be a entertainment a friend, uh, you know, mentor, whatever the roles that parents play, um, you know, when you go to work, you just you could just hide behind uh, some documents and some uh, some computers, and you you just focus, right? Uh, but when and you're why at home, is it that kids go from zero to ten? I, I like for me, it takes you know good half hour at least to fully wake up right to just be yeah. involved in the day. Oh, my kids are yeah. like ah, ah. Oh. what are we doing now ah. exactly <laughs> oh, our, our grandson slept over last night oh. and uh when he when he got up this morning it was like Whoop. <laughs> i'm awake and let's let's go and he it's really fun to to see how his mind works he's not quite too but he he mentions everything that he knows, right? And then, then he goes through the day yesterday and then, all right, now let's go do some stuff. <laughs> we often off, run off and just, you know, be active. It's fun. It's wonderful. And it's nice to hear because, you know, the last time we had you on, well, I wasn't mm -hmm. here, but Nat had asked you about, you know, what you were missing about your grandkids and it stayed with me. I was watching in the background typing questions as you were talking. <laughs> And one of the things that really stayed with me that you had said was, 
I miss smelling them. <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's you know, so hugging true. him and holding him. But now yeah. we have established that our my daughter's household, so she and her uh, her partner and, and, and child, and my son and his partner, and then we have their younger sister here who, who came back from school to, to isolate here. So mm -hmm. this that's our family unit. And these three households, up to ten people, were you know we're 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 what for seven or eight with Oscar, and uh, we just uh, you know that's that's our that's our that's our bubble. Yeah. Although yeah, I have heard that you fun. are awaiting a new little one, a new grandchild. That's, so I guess yeah, the bubbles will get yeah, a little bit right? bigger. <laughs> you know, there's always room for one more. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so uh, Oscar is going to have a, a well we know it's a baby brother oh. uh, uh in september oh so soon uh -oh. Oh. oh yeah 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 that's coming fast yeah. oh do we lose rebecca for oh, a second i think we're losing a few people <laughs> <laughs> and i hear and i hear two of that so it's gonna be one of those chats oh no do you hear two of me <laughs> you've got like a little you're like in the, a bit of a mountain. It's okay. Oh, okay. Well, you guys keep chatting and I'll figure out what tech I should kind of fix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully I won't break the system. Maybe we could ask some of the people who are watching. Uh, I, I see if, how are we appearing? Are we all uh, in live time or? Danielle has said, I can see all three of you. That's good. Megan says hi, which is wonderful. I'm hoping uh, everybody over there. Oh, no. Oh, I think we lost Rebecca there. I, I, I was going to say, I think we lost her. Yeah, and I think that and, people uh, have been sending stuff in and we haven't been seeing it. Well, I could, if I could just thank Megan uh, for the congratulations. Yes, yes, thank you, Megan. We're very excited to uh, to have a, a new one. And we'll wait for Rebecca be, uh, to come back. Oh my gosh! Now, there's a funny joke I, I, I I've heard, and you've probably heard this, Nat. But uh, for grandparents, they say that if uh, if I'd known it was going to be this much fun to be a grandparent, I would have skipped the stage of having children. <laughs> You know, yes. Gone straight to being a grandparent, and it's uh, it's, it's very true. <laughs> yeah, I've heard from a lot of people, and my parents as well. They loved being grandparents. It was like the yeah. best thing ever. And uh, yeah. and I think we have Rebecca back, and I think hopefully it's not two of me and me echoing in the background. And yeah, it is me again. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I tell you what, Nat, I'll let you run with it. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I, that's I okay. Think we're good. We'll keep going. You know what? Back. The echo's fine. I don't think it's that bad, right? Nah. I don't hear any echo. Oh, perfect. Let's keep going. We're all set. Yeah, I, I started to hear Greg's joke, but I didn't hear the punchline. I, I said if if I'd known being a grandparent was going to be so much fun, I would have skipped. I would have skipped the stage of having children and gone straight to being a grandparent. <laughs> I think my dad feels the same way. <laughs> I think well, most grandparents I, do, right? I, I tell every new expecting parent, I said, you don't know how much you like are delighting your parents uh, to have grandparents. It really is. There's just. A certain weight that's off your shoulders and also you've known you've done it right and so you're able to uh focus on the things that are important let the other things you know you know let the other things go uh because you know how it all works out over time but yet when you're a parent there's always there was just always that responsibility that you had uh and you mm -hmm. just were never really quite sure uh if you were going to be able to um if you're going to be able to if you're imparting the right values but after having done it a couple of times ugh. and i see megan here who has uh, yeah. two grandsons there you go megan you and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be joining your club shortly 
<laughs> it's true though as a grandparent from what my parents have said it's that time when you can just really enjoy it where you don't have to worry about anything you don't have that sense of guilt you can just play you know just have fun <laughs> that's right get right into their world you know and and that's exciting for them and and uh, it's there's nothing that it's, it's a real ego boost but there's nothing greater than you know when they he comes out of the car and you know he's just just thoroughly happy to see us or he'll sleep over and won't even think twice about you know saying goodbye to mom and dad because you know we have a presence in his life so it's uh it's really it's it's been one of the uh one of the upshots of of covid 19 is having this opportunity to uh, spend a little bit more time with him than i normally would be able to yeah i think a lot of dads feel that that work-life balance issue has been eased a little bit from COVID, oddly, been eased by COVID-19. Not that they're not still as busy, but because they're able to work remotely, many dads are like on the ground, you know, <laughs> in a way that they might not have yeah. necessarily yeah. been able to be before. Yeah. Exactly right. Oh, and, and and that that kind of uh, you know being on the ground, being experienced, it really makes you think um, about you know wh why do we do the rat race? I understand how it's important to to always work hard, and I think that's that's a great thing. Uh, but do we have to be as busy as we are, or can we use this opportunity to just be you know just to have a little bit more human scaled fun? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Agree, yeah. And also, I find we're so involved in the public sphere, and the public sphere has been such a dominant force, especially for men, that when they get into that domestic realm, like my husband has taken over all of the laundry now, you know, and he does a better job than anybody else here could. And it's just, it's really nice to see a valorization of, as a stay at home mom, some of the stuff that I was used to doing sort of just day in and day out, you know? Yeah. I know for my Talking husband. Of mom, I, I. Oh, go ahead, Mary. Great. I, I hear. I hear. I hear some kids stomping up the up the stairs yeah. or in, uh, in somebody's house. That's my kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my husband was making supper, and uh, I guess it's ready. So everyone's stomping up. I have four kids, so it's a lot of stomping. Up the <laughs> I was just gonna say that my husband has been working at home, and he's actually been loving it. Like he's just been enjoying that time with the kids and. He's been really enjoying it. And I think he's realizing that not that he never did before. Obviously, he always has been with the kids. But now just the day to day and having that extra special time with them when he doesn't have to worry about, you know, about work or anything else. Right. Yeah. So I think he's I don't know. I think he's just really enjoying it. And he's I mean, obviously, he has to go back to work. He has to. Right. But he's like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. I just really love this. And the kids are going back in September, you know, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. and we have, it will be a real change. We have Danielle no, I, here who's saying, sorry, I keep cutting people off. She's saying I have two granddaughters. So much fun for after three boys. <laughs> And Megan, <laughs> I'm not sure she says because it looks professional. I'm not sure. Oh, we were talking about the public sphere, maybe. Maybe. Or the rat race. The rat race look, does go. look professional. The yeah. rat race. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. you have a whole other world that you're working in, too, but we don't, you know, get to yeah. participate in always, but. I must say, I'm so pleased to feel like our voice is always heard by you. It, just, it really does feel that way. I feel that every time you go on live on your Facebook page, you're speaking to things that I have brought forward or that I've been thinking about. And it's it's so nice. Well, thank you, Rebecca. That's really that's that's very nice of you to say. And, uh, look, I, I, I'm I'm a guy from the community, so uh, I I don't think uh, you know I don't take myself too seriously. I take the position seriously, but I don't take myself seriously. And and uh, I hope that you know what the aim is is to try to provide a useful uh, service f for you and for the community, but not just for that reason. I, I really do believe that you want to make people 
not only feel but know uh, that they have uh, agency, they, they have an ability to change things. You don't have to accept things the way they are. The future is not written. Um, and the future, matter of fact, is, if, if it were to be written, it's only written by the efforts which we put into the now. So uh, I, I just want people to feel that connection that if they really want to change something, if they really want to influence uh, or, or make something happen, that they not only do they have an open or do I have an open ear to what they want to want to bring forward, but they also have the ability to push me and to perhaps oppose me and, and you know, that they can change things. Mm -hmm. It's, we, you know, I'm a bit of a student of history. Sorry to get a little serious here, but when you take a look at throughout human recorded history, when let's say 5,000 years of it, uh, reliable, uh, recorded history. Um, maybe, maybe out of all that time, over 1500 years, we might have had some form of uh, rule by the people. Mm. And, and certainly it's not been continuous. It's been punctuated. It, it, it comes, it goes. Yeah. Uh, it has different forms. Uh, we always called Greece the, you know, the great democracy. Well, it's sure it's great if you're a citizen, you're over 40 years old and you're a man. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, for everybody else, <laughs> it sort of sucks. Um, uh, so we, you know, we have a really amazing time now that we can, we can express ourselves freely. Uh, mm -hmm. We can get involved freely. Uh, we can affect change. Uh, so. I want to keep this going. Um, I don't want it to be on my watch that it doesn't exist for the next generation. So we, and then when I say generation, next political generation, you know, five, six years, something like that. Uh, so it's really important for people to uh, to take advantage of what we have and feel that they can. Yeah. Sorry, that was pretty serious, eh? No, it was awesome. <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean, you know, you say next political generation, but also um, I feel like we're, we're we're trying to work so hard also as parents to create a just world for our kids. There's a, there's an element of responsibility that is a bit of a crossover being a, a parent and being a parliamentarian. I think there's some synergies there in, in oh, that no, sense it's of exactly trying the same to thing. Uh, Totally, totally. Yeah. Yeah, completely analogous. Come kind of like it's exact same thing, but I'll say this: that sense of responsibility grew by X factor uh, when I became a grandparent. <laughs> so I thought being a parent would have really, like, you know, that was it, the sum of. But being a grandparent, because now I sort of feel that my life has extended out another, you know, uh, well, another. 80, 90 years, right? Uh, so I have to think about, you know, what's life going to be like in the year, you know, 2100 for uh, for my grandkids yeah. Yeah. and and maybe great grandkids and, and stuff like that. So it, it really does extend it out. I mean, you, you, if you thought it was enough just to live, you know, your, your children's life, now it's your grandchildren's lives. Yeah. And also, I don't know if this happened. I things... have the same feeling if I become a great grandchild. <laughs> no, no, I, but seriously, I, of... I, I haven't heard that from, from great grandparents. You haven't, no? Oh. No, I, I, I don't know if any of the people who are, who are listening, if they, if anyone is a great grandparent, do they feel that same? extension uh, when you have your great grandkids. Maybe we just don't have the same relationship with them, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think that factor that you were talking about, the guilt element um, for dads, for parents generally, but for dads too. Uh, and, and, and I think maybe in particular, that sense of guilt with your own children seems to be a really strong emotion. Whereas, as you say, with your hmm. grandchildren, there seems to be less of that. Um, uh, I don't know what it is. There's, as you said, there's more of an opening up. You're, you're less. Um, you're, you're less worried. Yeah. yeah. You're more open to playing with your children and, and enjoying every minute with them, right? And not worrying about what's happening yep. in the background. 
Yeah. Right. Perhaps it's, uh, uh, you know, um, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. Perhaps it's, it's just experience. You've just had experience and you've seen your kids turn out and you realize, ah, all those things that I worried about or, you know, how do they do on that grade one test? Yeah, that really is not important in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> maybe it was maybe it was better to take your kid out of school and, and spend some time, you know, lying in the grass and looking at the bugs. Um, uh, you know, the, those are probably the things that are more meaningful to your children than than you know, whether or not they got, you know, a four out of five or a five out of five on that, uh, you know, uh, drawing test that they did in, 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 in first grade. Totally agree. Totally agree. And I think a lot of families are making use of this time right now where, um, you know, what would seem to be a travesty is actually been a real opportunity to do those kinds of things, nature walks and bug hunting and all the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> Even just, you know, the running through the sprinkler kind of, you know, it felt a bit <laughs> like we're back to my childhood. The, I grew up in the, okay, I'm going to age myself, but I was an 80s kid, right? So it was, um, you know, sort of Sister, go out. you're young. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> but I loved that. You know, you take off on your bike and it was a, a sense of freedom, you know. But uh, but at the same time, the more things change, the more they stay the same. We did an episode this week on um, gender stereotypes and little boys mm. playing with dolls, you know, and the value of boys having dolls so that they can play with the idea of the role of being a dad, you know? Yep. Um, but for whatever reason, there still seems to be some stigma around that. It, it, I'm always amazed at some of the old ideas that are holdovers that just don't seem to, I mean, this is particularly pertinent right now, but um, we were speaking specifically in the context of gender, these, these weird ideas that just take hold and that are almost impossible to get rid of. And gender is just one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we, you know, we did a segment with my son playing with Barbies. He got a set of Barbies from the neighbor and he's, he loves them. They're put yeah, in his Iron Man backpack that, uh, that Nat's sons <laughs> passed on to him. He's thrilled. He was thrilled. He loved it. Uh, and, and kids <laughs> love that. And if, if I, I think, I think the real thing, and uh, you know, I see that Danielle wrote a little note saying, you know, mm -hmm. when being a grandparent means you don't sweat the small stuff. I think the real trick to being a good parent is to just, you know, let kids be kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't don't burden them with our anxieties and our prejudices and our you know our our, our fears. Just let them be. You know they they they, they actually are. They could t they they do teach us a lot. Yes. Yes, they do. They teach us so much. We just have to listen, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I remember. I mean, I had kids when I was in my early twenties, and. Um, uh, I remember just realizing, I mean, before I had children, I was the smartest guy ever, eh? Uh, and then when you have children and they ask you those basic questions, it's just like, yeah, yeah, why do we do that? You know, <laughs> why is the world Google. this way? And, and, and you, it's true. And we, yeah, we didn't have Google. No, no, sir. We, we had encyclopedias. <laughs> We actually had to go to the libraries to find the information, right? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, you're talking to a librarian yeah. here. Oh, <laughs> sure. watch, watch it. <laughs> well, Rebecca, it's really funny. On uh, when before um, Parliament Hill, uh, before we moved from Centre Block to West Block, I would take uh, uh, folks from Halamar on a tour, and I'd show them the the Library of Parliament, and there they would have the card index boxes, right? <laughs> you know, and I'd always ask people, any anybody under thirty, I'd say, do you know what these <laughs> what these drawers are for? And, you know, you know, this is where you put your gloves, or you know, uh, whatever people. <laughs> No one remembers the, uh, the the card index system. <laughs> Today it's all XML. Oh. 
all XML today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. those. A friend of mine actually worked there. She was so sad that she had to move offices, but for good, yeah. for good reason. How long is that work going to we'll, be taking? We'll be back. You know? We'll be back. Well, they say 2030. Ooh. We'll see. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best laid plans. Yeah. yeah. It's not that far away. What's 10 years? Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's, nah. it's, 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 you know, when they rebuilt Parliament Hill uh, in 19, uh, after it burned in 1916, they rebuilt it in 1922. Um, because they wanted to have it built very quickly, they did take shortcuts. And throughout the, uh, the you know the last uh, well, hundred years, as they have to do renovations and they look at the plans in front of them, they discover that you know the beams aren't aren't behind the walls where they should be. <laughs> so I think this is going to be one big, you know, renovation project from hell uh, <laughs> for those folks. But they'll they'll make it work in the end. Yeah, the second you start to to scratch the surface of some of these things, eh? Yeah. Whatever, what you'll find. Yeah. Uh, but I want <laughs> to just come back to what you were saying about letting children be children as a as a father, mm -hmm. encouraging encouraging that in your children and in your grandchildren. There seems to be with children this sense of wonder. You know, I wonder. They seem to wonder about everything. And when you spoke about, you know, as a youth, you know, you thought you knew everything. And do you find that, I don't know, I'm heading into my mid forties now. And so I'm feeling like I'm coming back to a place where I'm beginning to realize again, that I have a new sense of wonder again and less, uh, the ego drives me less than it used to. Right. right? Plato would consider 40 the age of maturity. Um, this is when this is the only time that he would allow you to uh, to assume the role as a leader, right, or a philosopher king. And there's something to it. Um, I, there's a striving that you do uh, in your late teens and early 20s and maybe into your 30s. But at some time, some point around your 40s, you just sort of you let that go, you know, um, you really focus in, there's a, there's a deepening and there's a great freedom in perhaps in the, you know, when you're young, the whole world's open to you. But when you're, when you get older, it, you know, you, you deepen your roots. Uh, and I think, uh, and there's a great wisdom in that. There's a, there's a, I think there's a great, uh, great knowledge that can come from that. Uh, I, I think it's, um, you know, I think we calm down and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Reacting less emotionally. I see Megan's written something. I think she was referring to earlier that we worry less as grandparents and whatnot. And we know Taking what matters most. Yeah. 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 I think we do, yeah. And I think when we're young, right, we're always trying to create something. We're in that kind of time when we're just, we want to do something, you know, special and something new. But now we realize, okay, it's time to just enjoy the life that we have and the people around us, really, right? As we get to, yeah. as we get older, I guess we start realizing yeah. what's really important. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's our, you know, we always have that one person who dies when we're in our 20s and it's shocking, but maybe in the 40s it becomes a little bit more real. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, maybe you just realize, oh, well, let me let me think about really what's important if, if you know, I were to have that, you know, something were to happen to me. And, and so I guess uh, you just, you become more uh, confident and more um, just willing to, to take some, just willing to, 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 to listen, to, ex to explore and to deepen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And that's obviously so, so being, cute. being grandparent is great for that. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> There's no end to the listening. <laughs> In fact, yeah. we dropped our kids off. We're having the exact opposite experience that you just experienced. We just dropped the kids off at my parents' house. 
and we are going to go and grab some sushi and have a super quiet night. There you <laughs> go. Awesome. Thank gosh for my parents. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, there's no end to the conversation. Well, I, yeah, I have to say, I, I'm so glad my... No, there isn't, you know, and, the, and to have grandparents close by, boy. Uh, to have my grandkids close by, um, this is this is amazing. Amazing. Because we just grab them up and say, hey, we're, we're taking them off. See ya. <laughs> taking them away That's to fun. sell. Yes. <laughs> I guess this is because my yeah. I, this is a time when I have a little bit more difficulty um, because my parents actually passed away a few years ago. So for me, it's mm. really different in the sense that my kids were actually really young when they passed away. Uh, my oldest really got to know them really well. And my two other boys were about, yep. um, I'd say, six or seven. So they kind of remember and whatnot. Yeah. But it was really tough for my two-year-old because she was so young when my parents passed away. And she doesn't really, she remembers them, but not really, right? And then you you think that it's all this time that they're going to lose. And it's so important. The role of a grandparent is just, it's so important. And they're going to miss that. And it's kind of, it's sad, you know? It's yeah. really sad to think of that. Yeah. Sorry. Um, all my <laughs> grandparents died by the time I was no, no, but it's not. It's it's really true. My my grandparents all died at the age by the time I was twelve, and uh, my mother died uh, when my kids were what nine, seven, and five. So uh, my nine, my oldest now twenty seven, um, you know, knows my remembers fully. Oh, that's not true. She was eleven, so with eleven, nine, and seven. And, uh, you know, so my oldest remembers my mom particularly well. Uh, my son, you know, he used to remember it, but now it's just, it's, it's gotten buried by all these new uh, memories, yeah. right? And I, Nat, if, you're, if, if you and I are alike, I don't think it's a day that you go by without saying, oh, I wish my, you know, my, my parents could see this. And I say that, you know, I wish my, my mom could see my kids now because she would, she would be so you know, proud of them. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and yeah. she would love them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we were very close and we, they used to visit often and just cuddling up with your grandchild, right? Just watching them, you know, read to them and yeah. play with them just a way yeah. that as a parent, you just, I don't know what it is. You just can't, right? It's just not the same. Yeah. You just see that, yeah. I don't know, that it's just that attachment and that love. It's so deep, you know? It really is. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is why I think no. things like Father's Day, you know, yeah. th these are the reasons for these kinds of days mm -hmm. is to just take time as a group, as a family, as a community, to stop and acknowledge the value of those people in our lives you know we mm -hmm. will gather on uh sunday and and uh yeah three of the three of the individuals who'll be there have all lost dads and so it's a day that they will talk about that together you know so my father will talk about the loss of my grandfather and Chad will speak about the loss of his father in an accident several years ago, and my uh, so brother-in-law will will speak about the loss of his father to cancer. And just by bringing words and memories to that, um, I just think I just think it's I think it's critical that we carve out time to do that. And we should probably do it definitely more than annually because. As you say, every day, every day you think you think of it, you know, and, and, and Chad will say, you know, that every single day I think of my father, but we only really talk about him on certain occasions. And um, but it's critical that we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. Oh, very much so. Yeah. So right. what's the plan for Father's Day over at your house, Greg? Well, I, I, like I said, uh, it's gonna somehow I have to make my way up to Lac Philippe. I, I don't know how this is gonna happen, or before they come back down from the from camping. Uh, I have an engagement uh, tomorrow. Uh, a couple of Zoom calls, uh, you know, video conferences, I should say. I guess uh, tomorrow, 
uh, so I, I sort of end late and uh, I'm trying to figure out how do I get up to that campsite without a car. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll work it out. And uh, and but Sunday it's, it's going to be another family gathering, and we'll we'll you know we'll we'll do cake and stuff and That's just hang awesome. out, play. And yeah. 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 Pull out yeah. the football and see so, what happens. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. Well, actually, we're, <laughs> we're, yeah, we, we, we do that. We that we do a lot of walks, and then uh, you know, if Oscar goes to bed, then then board games come out, and uh, oh. and that's always fun. So there's a lot of discussions. <laughs> Megan's <laughs> giving me advice. Uber. Yes, yeah, there's no Uber. Uber, Uber on this side of the river. <laughs> Or not legally. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna picture you walking mm. all that way up to like Philip. <laughs> oh, I think somebody will probably come down and pick me up. So, cool. well, thank you so much, Greg. This has been great. No, I know no. we've gone over. I have time, a running group, so maybe. We... So nice. Well. Oh. <laughs> well, look, I really enjoyed it, and it's, it's lovely to reflect on uh, on fatherhood and to reflect on uh, uh, to reflect on grandfatherhood. And uh, it was lovely to have some time. Thank you, Nat. Thank you for sharing as well uh, you. uh, about Thanks your parents. For us. Yeah, it's a little hard, but you know, yeah. it's a great time to do that. Yeah. So, thanks so much for joining us, Greg. We really appreciate. It. We love having you on here and chatting with you. And of course, with a glass of wine, it makes it even better. <laughs> yeah, you know, wine makes everything nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, folks. Take care. Right. Thanks, everyone. Right on. And thanks to, to Megan and Danielle for uh, for participating yes. as well. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.